What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Chantal has done a video that is honestly going to spark, I think, a lot of outrage in the community, but not for the normal reasons. So I didn't mention this yesterday, but the new intro has such awful audio quality, and we're going to learn why, I think, during this video. But we start by seeing her load wash. We transition over to Hamio, which is good. You know, there's actual video editing here. I'm not going to knock that. She, she at least attempted something. But we then move on to Old Reliable. Filler content with the pets, B-roll music in the background, we check our blood sugar, we get this riveting footage of her loading her washer and dryer while constantly looking at the camera to ensure it's recording. It just makes it seem so forced, so unnatural. It's the opposite of what you're trying to do. We then see her saying that some people have liked these videos, which oddly enough, I don't recall anyone liking these videos. I don't recall anyone clamoring for them. I, I know a lot of people, myself included, have said, listen, you need to get your health back on track. We'll watch that. We'll document that, but not this. And that here's where we are on the very, very slippery slope of being relatable and being a content creator. Because that's all we have. You have to be able to relate to us. If you can't, we're done. She said she has no children, but she has a household to maintain. And I think this is going to be where people are borderline insulted about her doing this. She's got an apartment for two people, neither of which seem to work. I'm going to go out on a very, very thick limb and say that nearly all of her audience does this and more on a daily basis and never even thinks of documenting it. As a matter of fact, in the comment section, if you do more than Chantal does in this video, just type, I do more. Four minutes in, we've transitioned over to food. It's 12.30. She says this is breakfast, but then she refers to it as brunch. We get a unicity plug because it offers the same vitamins she gets at the clinic. And then a minute later, so you have to understand, five minutes, 15 minute video, this is a third of the day. And we see all the issues. She's already spent more time talking about what she's going to do than actually doing it. We now see the awful time management firsthand. Her busy days consist of mixing a drink, which she must sit down to have, waking up at the crack of one o'clock and rushing in a load of wash. The lunch isn't cooking. It's assembling food. It's dolloping out cheese, olives, reheating a gravy-esque sauce. She is elated to tell us that she's pre-soaking pans before they get washed. She's getting pitas for dipping. Now, if there's one thing that best expresses her desire to make the worst content possible, it's the microphone dies halfway through this video. If this doesn't showcase her laziness, nothing else will. This woman mind you, is dependent on YouTube. She has nothing else to do with her day except document it. And she could not even be prepared enough to charge the items she needs to film. But of course, she uses this opportunity to tell us the microphone it came from Thailand, where they traveled unprepared and had to buy microphones to record vlogs there, but I digress. We learn very quickly how and why she loses track of what she eats. Because this meal went back and forth from being brunch to breakfast, and then we learn it's all for her. This is another one of the appetizer sampler style meals that's 70% of what she's told not to eat by her doctors. And we also kind of get that little slip of, I'm having air fried potatoes. No, Chantal, you're having French fries. And this is probably the same BS you bring back to your doctor and say, I don't know what's wrong. I'm just having vegetables and, you know, air fried potatoes, not telling them that you're having olives, pickles, and French fries. So we get a little bit behind the curtain. We then get a time lapse of her eating. She then cleans the dishes. She literally takes time to tell us the soap is from her husband's business. Shows us putting her ring back on. We transition into her cleaning the floor. This kitchen, by all accounts, looks like it could be at most seven foot by seven foot. She, of course, reiterates these are products from her husband's business, and then she sprays down the room. 
She then proclaims, with these tasks done, her back hurts, and she needs, quote, me time. She gets that via reading the Quran. She reads a passage out, which is very broken. And then she talks about appreciating what she has in life and offers we should too. And she kind of transitions through Ramadan, wanting to focus on fasting and prayer. And then obviously closes things out with saying, oh, I get to look out at my oceanfront view. Chantal, in a nutshell, this video should embarrass you. This video actually is the opposite of what you think it is. I actually, in perfect timing, made some Better Hams and Gardens magazines that I'm going to put up here. But the reality is quite simple. What you're doing is remedial chores. What you did in this video, I can tell you, me personally, I woke up. I made myself breakfast. I got my day started. Never once thought about filming it. And I somehow compacted all of that in addition to going out and running an errand into about 10 minutes. From the time I woke up to the time I had coffee, something he got in the car and went out to do what I needed to do, at most 10 or 15 minutes had passed. You have made that an all-day event in this video. Whatever you think this is achieving, all it's doing is showing all of us that you literally have so much free time on your hands that you don't even know how to compartmentalize that time. You have so much free time that you don't know what to do with it and you over-exaggerate what you're doing to make it seem like you're accomplishing things that don't even need to be thought of. You don't have to think about doing wash. It's something you have to do. You don't have to think about making yourself meals. It's something you have to do. But you are approaching it as if it's this obstacle that only you face so bravely every day with air fryer and mop in hand. This is very much why your life is in the disarray that it is. Because you actually have every gift in front of you. You have the gift of time. And not everyone has that. And that's why I say you're losing the ability to be relatable to your audience because they are seeing someone whose life is an absolute chaos from a health perspective, have all the time in the world to focus on themselves and somehow create a vlog that showcases their inability to do that by projecting they're doing daily things that everyone else does, common tasks, but approaching it as if it's this impossible thing you didn't even cook for your animals or for sala in this video you just cooked for yourself if this is a day in the life chantal if this is where you're going with your channel i know you've talked a lot about i don't care about my views i don't care about how much money i make good because no one is going to sit and watch this people are going to mock this more than anything you've ever done because it's just that low quality of content. I would love to know your thoughts on this, honestly. If this isn't the biggest joke of a video she's ever done, I appreciate you spending your time watching this. And you know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.